Kevin's first booking, which was the first game of the season at Wigan, if we watch the incident carefully, you'll see when Kevin is going to make the challenge here, he's following the ball in flight all the way. His arms don't actually make contact with, his, with the player's face or his elbow make contact. And when you see it secondly on slow motion, you can see there exactly where his arms are going across the player's chest. He actually made contact with the player with the top side of his back, really. Um, basically, his sheer weight caught the player off balance. But at no time did he maliciously look for the player or go for the player. He was basically going for the header all the time. His second booking occurred a few days later against Chester as he pulls the ball down there. He challenges the keeper for what was a loose ball and does say a few words to number 14. You can see from the reaction of the keeper that he was quite happy with the challenge. He doesn't see any problem. And if we look at the replay, we'll see the actions of the number 14 and the tackle, which upset Kevin. Number 14 is coming across now and you can clearly see he puts his stud straight into Kevin's left hip. The keeper at that time still hasn't got the ball. As far as the keeper is concerned, he, he believes it's still to be a fair challenge. He's not been aggressive towards Kevin at all. Kevin finishes up with the yellow card and number 14 is not even spoken to. Here we are, seven games later at Bradford. I don't think there's any uh, argument with this booking. It's a straightforward challenge from Kevin, which was late. He caught the, the boy, he went down. And the booking was very justified in that case. The next booking came 11 games later against Plymouth. Kevin makes tracks into the box when he reclaims the ball here. After he's made his run, the defender misclears. Kevin tries again to go into the box. The defender comes across to boot it clear, and Kevin just tries to make the challenge as the defender came across. The next four items show certain occasions where crosses are coming into the box. And if you look closely, you see that Kevin, on these occasions, never takes his eye off the ball. But also shows how goalkeepers do come very close sometimes to making contact with their fists with Kevin. On these occasions, goalkeepers, as you can see, even with outstretched arms, can't get above Kevin to try and catch the ball from these particular corners and free kicks. This last one shows against Plymouth, where Kevin again never takes his eye off the flight of the ball, and the goalkeeper could easily have hit him from behind. The previous examples have shown how Kevin does get above goalkeepers. This is a booking against Chester, where if you watch in the following sequences, again you'll see that Kevin's eye never leaves the flight of the ball. He never once looks for where the goalkeeper is. And again, if you look closely, you'll see that his arms don't make contact with the keeper. They come down behind the goalkeeper, and he actually heads the ball before the keeper can get to it. As the goalkeeper gets up, you'll see that there's no objection from him to the tackle or the challenge. What was seen to be, from all sides, a fair header that the keeper couldn't reach. Seems to be a bookable offence, and the goalkeeper had no problems with the challenge at all. Kevin actually made contact with the goalkeeper with his chest. As you'll see from this sequence now, it's his chest that bumps into the keeper and knocks the keeper off balance. The keeper there doesn't have a problem. As with the booking at Bradford, the, the booking at Burnley was pretty much a similar thing. A late challenge, no objection. The challenge did go in late and was a bookable offence. The referee was justified in the decision he made here. There you go, the challenge is late. And quite rightly, he receives the yellow card. His next booking didn't occur till Rotherham in early March, where, as you'll see, a defender clears the ball. Kevin sets off with the defender. When we get into the slow motion, we'll see exactly what took place where the defender tried to obstruct him on two occasions. Firstly here, the defender goes across the front of him, just after he's headed it. That's one obstruction. Kevin recovers to try and go past the defender again. You'll see just as he's getting to the ball, the defender comes across him again and places his elbow into his stomach. There. Kevin makes contact. Certainly a 16 stone powerful man like that is going to bundle someone over if they're off balance. But Kevin receives a booking once again. Here we are, 
uh, 16 games later against Bournemouth, his latest booking. He clears the ball from the area, desperately defending to get the ball away. Ball breaks wide to the blonde-haired lad. Kevin comes in. You'll see from the action replays that he was desperate to put the ball clear out of play. He didn't actually make contact with the player with his foot. The only contact was arm to arm as the player tried to get inside him as he toe pokes it there. What looked a very strong tackle from a distance was merely contact arm to arm as the player tried to get inside him. As you can see from the position of the referee, it does look from that angle as to be a wild tackle. But in fact, he's just trying to put the ball out of play there. Slightly mistimes it. Doesn't make contact with the feet, as we said earlier. Makes contact arm to arm. But from the referee's side, it did look a wild tackle. But there, as you can see, he was just trying to clear the ball into the stands. A very disappointing time for Kevin. 16 games without a booking. And he is now suddenly aware that his Wembley appearances are in jeopardy. And finally, one booking that we missed earlier from December against Orient. You can see a lot of action going on there. When the slow motion comes in, you'll be able to pick up the sequence of events leading up to this booking. Again, there you can see Kevin surrounded by all the Orient players, all gesticulating here. He's leaving the box. He's chasing the player. Again, his power, he goes shoulder to shoulder with the player there. Player goes down, referee, if you watch his hands towards play on, there you go, the referee's playing on. Kevin turns, immediately you'll see a, a tackle coming in from behind, straight across his legs there. The ball breaks loose, there, in comes number nine and kicks Kevin when the ball isn't there. And if you watch the referee, he gives the free kick to Orion. At that point, there you go, the referee giving the free kick to Orion after Kevin's been kicked without the ball being there. Nine apparently was okay to kick Kevin when the ball wasn't there, but as you'll see, the only person to receive the yellow card again is Kevin. And finally, this last sequence is just basically to show the sort of tackles and the sort of punishment that Kevin receives every week. You'll see in slow motion, when the ball's knocked forward here, the defender climbs all over him, arm round his face, round his neck. Referee doesn't even award a free kick for this particular tackle. The ball breaks down, Kevin goes to get it again. And within the space of four to five seconds, across comes another defender as Kevin's gone away from him. Ball's gone there. And again, down goes Kevin. Another frustrating event.